All right, Joe, Court Style 101, are you ready? I'm ready to rock. What is Court Style? Court Style is a resilient flooring material that is comprised 70% of sand. Uh, it was developed actually in the 1950s as an alternative to asbestos. Quartz tile comes in a multitude of colors. You have more of a marble look, you can get into more of a fleck look, and then there are even some that give a uh, very much almost terrazzo type of feel. It also comes in a one by one as well as a two by two. The added benefit of quartz uh, being 70% quartz and the vinyl is actually the way it binds together. So if you were to take a VCT product and try to do this, it would break apart and bust because so much of it is chalk. Uh, the vinyl and the quartz mesh so well together that it gives you high PSI as well as extreme flexibility. How is it installed? The beautiful part of quartz tile is that the industry has been installing VCT for years and quartz tile actually installs very similar to how VCT is installed. It's troweled, glued uh, down to the floor and it's that simple. And how will quartz benefit the facility? That is the hugest attribute of quartz tile. For years, the industry and facilities directors have been looking for products that can solve a lot of the standard issues that they have. You'll hear the same thing. It cracks, it breaks, uh, it shrinks, it wears. Um, and they spend a ton of money maintaining it. So quite simply, this material can solve and alleviate every single one of those problems for them. Quartz is often used in education. Where else do you see it being a game changer? Education has always been the market that has primarily utilized VCT because of the low installation cost. Um, but healthcare and any other commercial space that is looking for a very durable, strong, good looking material can always upgrade to a uh, quartz tile product without blowing their budgets. Quartz is often compared to VCT. Why? What are the advantages? It's, it's often compared to VCT, as we, we mentioned earlier about the installation methods, and it really stops there. Uh, a VCT product is actually comprised of calcium carbonate, which is drywall. This material uh, is made 70% of quartz, which um, essentially is sand. So when you look at the two materials, it's really just taking out the weak mineral and replacing it with a much harder, uh, stronger, less absorbent material. You look at VCT, it has a PSI of 75 to 150. Quartz tile carries a PSI of 3,500. So the indentations that they, uh, they get a lot of times in their facilities can be alleviated. Uh, a lot of times the cracking and breaking can also occur from undulation in your substrates and your subfloors. The benefit of a quartz tile is it has extreme flexibility to it. Quartz is extremely resistant to staining, unlike VCT, which is made of um, calcium carbonate, which is essentially chalk. Uh, dimensional stability. A lot of times a VCT product gets installed, uh, a few years later it has completely shrunk and you essentially get racetracks around all of your tiles. Uh, and then the largest is the overwhelming cost savings through the life cycle of the product. You're somewhere between a buck and a buck twenty-five from stripping and adding six coats of finish, uh, whereas a quartz tile does not require uh, a finish at all. It's just a damp mop and pH neutral cleaner. Is quartz tile expensive? It's not. Um, most people look at two different ways when you're looking at a flooring material. You look at installation cost and then you look at life cycle cost. On the installation cost, it does carry a initial uh, investment over standard VCT, but it is the fastest turnaround product uh, in the market. Uh, usually between uh, 6 to 12 months, you'll receive a return on your investment based off of the ability of this product not to require a finish. What is PSI? PSI is the pounds per square inch that a product has uh, before it indents. Uh, so if you were to take a quartz tile and compare it to a VCT, a VCT is between 75 and 150. Quartz tile is made 70% of sand, uh, which gives you a much higher PSI of 3,500. So here is a VCT product and it totally explodes. Here is a quartz tile and it stays tried and true. What's the environmental story of quartz? Quartz tile, uh, one, first and foremost, is actually, I mean, it's made from the earth, right? It's 70% sand. Uh, one of the biggest pluses is that you're not putting a finish on this material. So when you're constantly stripping and waxing and refinishing VCT floors, that material is getting dumped into the drains that ends up in our oceans. That's not something that is required here. You can use a green pH neutral cleaner to maintain it daily uh, and obviously take care of the planet. With all the products out there, you get amped about quartz. Why? 
About 10 years ago, we really uh, heavily introduced this product into the marketplace and we were meeting with facilities all over our markets and all we heard was about all of the issues that they were having. Uh, the cracking, the breaking, the staining, the shrinking, the wearing, and then all the money and time that they were spending maintaining it. We knew that we really had a true problem solver from the facilities level. And by introducing this product, we've been able to, you know, to solve those problems and save each one of these facilities a ton of money through maintenance costs. That's it.